So you have been selected to be interviewed on camera. Congratulations. You obviously have great things to bring to the table. Now, it's okay if you don't have experience doing this. Most interviewees normally don't. But I'm going to give you seven tips that you can use to nail the interview and look like a pro. I'm going to tell you right after this. Welcome back everyone. If you're new here, I am Fred Galvan Jr. I am a filmmaker, teacher, a vlogger, and other things. I try to teach the noobs how to shoot great video with basic equipment without draining the bank account. But today, we're going to focus on those in front of the camera with seven tips. Tip number one, research the topic beforehand. The interviewer will typically send over the questions prior to principal photography or the production or recording date, you know, you get it. This gives you ample time to rehearse and nail your responses. This helps to prevent any e er ums, blah, 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 awkward pauses, and be confident with your answers during the actual interview. So be sure to take advantage of this time. Tip number two, what to wear and not to wear. Wear something comfortable, folks, and, and stick to solid colors. Avoid all white tops unless it's an undershirt or covered by a jacket. Too much white can be too bright for the camera. We don't need that. The production crew will probably have plenty of lighting there already. You don't want to wear clothing with complicated patterns or, or, or thin stripes or materials like corduroy or um, herringbone. This will confuse the camera's image sensor and cause issues. Well, what type of issues you're probably wondering. Without going too much down the rabbit hole, it's issues that are triggered by the camera's CMOS sensor, how it records from the top to the bottom, and of course the camera's algorithm. But enough of that. All of the camera info is probably for another video. Now back to wardrobe. Blingy jewelry is a no-no. That can be distracting to the viewers and to the camera. Loud jewelry like pearls and, and multiple bracelets, which can produce rattling and the clank clank noises, that'll be picked up by the microphone, so mm -mm. That's extra noise we don't need. So please, folks, with a cherry on top, leave your drills and your chainsaws at home. It's, it's best to keep it simple. Tip number three, where to look. Where to look varies on the director, the production company, and the look and feel that they're going for. Some prefer the talent to address the camera, kind of like what I'm doing right now. Others prefer looking off camera and facing the interviewer, like this. On our sets in particular, we go with the latter. We have the talent look at the interviewer. We find that to be easier on the interviewee. Looking at a camera lens can be kind of nerve wracking, especially if, if they've never been on camera before. They have more experience talking to people than to a camera. You know, in our interviews, ignore the cameras. They're just not there. They don't exist. Tip number four, responding to questions. When the interviewer asks you a question, Wait about two seconds before you answer. Don't answer immediately or, or overlap them when they're asking you the question. The editor needs space to cut the audio. You will be the only one on camera, not the interviewer. Another thing is, repeat the question. For example, if they were to ask you, what are your thoughts on the movie? You would respond, my thoughts on the movie are yada, yada, yada. What is your name? My name is Fred Galvan Jr. Make sense? Speak clearly and look directly at the interviewer. But it's okay if, you, if your eyes wander a bit as, as you look for a thought or thoughts or response, but address the interviewer when your thought or thoughts have formulated. Tip number five, going stiff slash warmups. This is not really a tip, but a procedure for us. Not everyone does this, but we do. If we feel that you are a little too stiff on camera, we just cut the cameras and we do warm-up exercises, and that, that'll help you unstiff. That's not a word, right? But relax, you will not be the only one doing these exercises. Everyone on set does the warm-ups with you. That includes me, the interviewer, the production crew, makeup department. If you bring a friend or a family member on set, they have to do it. And even if the client is there, if they're present, they have to do it. Everyone. No one is a privileged princess on our set. We are all a team for that time, and it's our job to make you look good. So we are behind you 110%. Tip 
Tip number six, communication. If you use your hands while you speak, continue to do so on camera without covering your face. Human communication is quite the equation. And the simplest of ways to explain kind of breaks down like this. Human communication is 60% body language, 30% tone, and 10% are the actual words that come out of your mouth. Body language is important, kind of like if you ask someone, hey, what, is, what does this mean? And they do this. But you know what they're saying. Or if you say something silly and they, they do that, you know what that means. Again, if you speak with your hands, keep doing it. Tip number seven, making mistakes. If you make a mistake or mistakes, that's okay. This is being edited and, and it's not a live feed. Mistakes are normal. I can almost guarantee that you, you will probably make a mistake or, or maybe two or, or more. That's okay. If you stumble with words, stutter, jitter, or any mishap, you can always go back to gather your thoughts and try again. There may be times that the director will stop you and ask you to repeat something. Don't feel bad about it. It's perfectly normal. It is the production's job to make you look like a pro and amazing. So trust them. Now, with these tips and some preparation, you can make a great impression in your interview. You may be nervous at first, but you'll soon realize when the interview has concluded that it was a piece of cake. You worry for nothing. Oh, one last thing. This is your opportunity to share your story with the masses. So, have fun. Stay creative, everyone.